Welcome to a special Seven Days to Die Horde Knight Defense. And guys, uh, look, okay, this is a different playthrough. Look at my little castle over here. I've got this, just, it's a little keep um, with some walls around. I put too many torches and it attracts the zombies like nothing else. But look, okay, this is kind of a creative playthrough. I'll show you this uh, just real briefly here. Um, I've been able to, uh, by setting my blood moon frequency to only 30 days, uh, I haven't dealt with any blood moons and I've been able to do a bunch of building and I also set my day cycle to like 120 minutes so that gave me a lot of time to go look I've got this double door thing um, <laughs> this is silly how they the two doors like overlap each other I, I think if anybody attacks that they're gonna be killing both doors simultaneously but look I've got all kinds of things going here I've got a couple of these things and a couple of those things and all of this stuff I built some safes and they okay look 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 we got to get over to our uh, horde defense base I I was saying I have uh, I set the day night cycle to 120 minutes giving me a time you know throughout every day to gather all kinds of goodies well um with those goodies i was able to build this is my horde defense base over here now it's getting really close to blood moon time and i don't have a lot of time to show you but here's what it is it's a pinwheel design um there's these ramps that lead up like this i just put some fencing here so this isn't like the iron bars or anything it's just fencing it just keeps them from jumping over i hope that they won't destroy that but once they get over here then they'll hit this pressure plate and boom there's a dart trap right there and then they come over here if they can get past the dart trap then there's this blade trap right there and then they come over here and here's a, a shotgun turret right there and um, this dart trap is for that next uh, leg of the pinwheel and so uh, they've got three traps to deal with plus when we come in here okay let me, let me show you this this is great I've got my little cage here and this is all the iron bars here and um, just rebar frames there so my turret can shoot through them and um, you know, so I'll be protected from birds. And look, I've got all of these things. Let's go ahead and turn everything on. Um, so let's get our generator going. And I only have four engines in here. I, I was only able to get four engines before, you know, because I build other stuff with engines, you know, like cars and, and things like that. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And we're going to go ahead and come over here. I've got a battery bank. And this battery bank, look, I've got a bunch of good batteries in here. We're going to turn that on. And uh, so, yeah, it'll do a lot of good output there. And then we can switch these on when it gets closer to Horde Knight, right? Well, it is Horde Knight when it gets closer to the zombies approaching. So they should theoretically come up the ramps, right? And there's two uh, pathways that they can lead up to each leg of the pinwheel and there's four legs of the pinwheel that go around and they wrap around and then they come to one of these four doors right and if need be I can go in here and I'll show you real quickly down in here this is like I've got a little safe right there with some supplies you know extra building materials and more ammo and stuff and oh by the way my turrets they're jam-packed they're full of all the darts you know uh, like that uh, 1500 darts per uh, dart trap and so this I, I excavated out down here and here I excavated out an escape tunnel right so I could I could theoretically come down here and run all the way down here and at the very end uh, it's just an end because I ran out of time I have no way out this there's no way out of here um, so uh, that, you know, it could be a death sentence if I come down here. But I've got plenty of ammo on me. In fact, how much do I have on me? Look at all these bullets. I've got all these bullets. I've got machine guns that are, you know, real high level stuff. So um, I, I feel comfortable. And there's another storage chest. Or who cares about that? Let's go up here. Let's go up because it's very, very close. Uh, like, I want to get my escape tunnel done, but I don't have the time to do that now. And so I got my switches. And I was like the wiring thing. I didn't know. This is my first attempt. I've never even tested this guys so I do know however that the power does route properly uh, now whether it's gonna hold out I don't know but like look okay I'm gonna turn this on well, okay we'll wait a little bit look also I've got these turrets and let me show you one turret right now see this is one of my junk turrets and they're all level fives they all have barrel extender drum magazine and rad remover mods all on all three of these so that is great and I have on this playthrough, uh, I have the, uh, what is it called? Um, junk turret thingy. Well, I, I, it's the turret 
skill, whatever, the turret skill at level 5, which means that two of these are going to be active at the same time as I'm running around here. So I'll be looking out for these zombies, and wherever, whichever side they're coming at, I just run over near one or two of these turrets, and they get active, and oh, the barrel extender means that they've got lots and lots of ammo. So, um, yeah, I, and uh, yeah, I've got another 600 on me. Um, that's probably, I need to get some more. I need to maybe make some more. Um, let's go ahead and place this turret down again. Uh, it's full. They're all. They all should be full. I hope they're all full because <laughs> I'm not going to pick them up anymore. Um, but I do have more of this stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and make just just in case because uh, I like uh, we got this first horde. Now, oh, by the way, if I did uh, here, let's just craft all of it. I don't even care. Um, I don't know if I told you I set up the count, the blood moon count for the zombies to maximum. So this is my first blood moon. I'm high level, uh, 78 ish. I don't even know what or me. How do I check that? I I don't remember. Players, me. Yeah, level 78. Uh, I'm anticipating a lot of nasty zombies. Uh, I mean, this is the first blood moon I'm I'm encountering. But since I've increased the blood moon count to the maximum, that's 64 at least. And I've had so many screecher, screamer, whatever they're called, those those ladies that call in more zombies. Like every day, I get you know a dozen or more of those wander around my property and screaming all their heads off and and calling in all these zombies that are destroying my walls over there which i you know i need to fix those i like though how i built uh, my keep there the walls have these you know just i made so that they're see-through basically i mean they're solid the zombies can't get through without breaking them uh, but i can shoot through at the zombies that are beating on my walls uh, without damaging my walls you know the zombies damage them but i don't so that's that's a good thing all right let's get a weapon ready and oh i need to um what, what do i have here I, i'm just gonna pull out that put that there so yeah we're making a bunch more junk turret ammo let's go ahead and do some uh, i'm gonna do this just use that so i i'm ready with all my food and water needs taken care of um i've got more healing stuff let's use that also keep our health high and yeah, okay, so we're good, and in 15 minutes, the horde is going to arrive. And uh, hopefully not too many birds attacking, because they, I don't know if they'll destroy this stuff here, but um, we're going to go ahead and switch on there. Oh, one thing I didn't add, and I should have, is some, some lights. Okay, so, are they working? Right, the blade traps are running. I see the blade traps running. Yeah, that one's running. All of them are running. Good. Okay, keep our light on. I don't have any light mods on my weaponry, which would actually shed a lot more light than just the helmet light alone. But like I said, I don't have them. Okay, here it is, the witching hour. Here they come. Where where are they? Where are they? I generally can't even see them uh, until they get up here. Oh, the other thing is, like these dark traps. I, I, oh, oh, what the hell? Who's, who's shooting? Oh, there we go. There we go. There, the zombies are coming up there. Look, there's so many of them. I can, I can help out. I can shoot a little bit here, and he's coming. And he, oh, there he hits the dart trap. What, what's this? Somebody spitting at me? Where's the spitter? I don't know. But there are so many of them coming up. Is this a green one over there? No, it's just army guys. There's so many freaking zombies. Uh, my game's starting to lag. Okay, so far they seem to all be coming from that direction. Oh, there's a spitter over there. Right. Oh, man, they're not making it very far. Oh, God, that's another spitter over there. He's probably going to destroy my rebar frame. Things. Look at all these zombies over here. Good, good Lord. All right, and more over here somewhere? Yeah, oh, look. See, it's making them go, and then they hit that trigger trap, and it should hit, uh, the darts should shoot them. Um, they're not even really making it to my blade traps yet. Oh, good grief. I need to stay over here where the bulk of the zombies are. You know, come over here. Make sure... Oh, there's a green one over there. Let's get our turrets going. Man, my auto turrets. They are so powerful. And, yeah. And those blade traps are knocking them down. You can't really see all this very, very well, but... Man, oh, man. Yeah, these zombies, they're not making it very far at all. I like my... My design here is working out splendidly. Oh, there's one down there trying to break stuff. You need to stop that. 
<laughs> yeah, go for it. Shotguns and boom. Yeah, oh, I love all these traps. They are working out very well. And the turrets, they're doing really, really good work for us. Yeah, and I'm just, I'm basically just using my pistol to add a little bit of uh, damage here. Oh, they're breaking trees down over there. Uh oh, this turret's out. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Holy crap. Oh, wow. I'm lagging so bad that I can't even enter my menu right now. <laughs> my game is frozen up because of all these zombies. Uh, come on. Recover. There we go. We'll put this down here like so. Well, the other traps are doing their work. Let's get this loaded. Oh, my God. I got to get this turret back down fast. There we go. Go for it, turret. Get this one reloaded also. Get it placed back down. How are we doing over here, guys? Not a lot of zombies in this area. So far, they're not making it very, very far at all. My traps are still doing... Oh, God, this guy. He's a problem. They've made it through. And that's where my weaponry comes in handy here. So, now, one of the problems I have is I can't reload the shotgun turrets over there. I can't reload... Alright, we need to just lay into these guys. I can't reload my shotgun turrets. They only have 450 shots per turret. But, I'm hopeful that that's going to be sufficient. Like, um, the dark traps, they hold stacks of 500. And three stacks of 500. So that's 1,500 darts when they hit that trigger trap. But I think they're running too fast past that. Okay, this guy's making it to the door. And that means he's out of range of anything. And I have to take him out. So yeah, any of them that get to the doors, I gotta deal with them. So let's stop them from getting to the doors. Yeah. Bad guys, bad guys. And, okay, he made it past. Yeah, but my turrets are doing great work on these guys. All right, where are we going? Let's just run around a little bit. Oh, look, at they're all piling up over here. And we leveled up. Yeah, oh, my traps are doing great work, guys. This, Look at this base defense. I think this design is splendid. I just came up with this. Because I know how these guys want to path along, you know, easy access corridors, right? And they are getting stuck together here. Yeah, and once they... Oh, they see that blade trap there is done for. So now it's going to be up to... Okay, me and these other turrets. All right. Good grief. We've got to get these guys down before they break through. Because they break in here, I am screwed. Any more? Come on, turrets. I'm really relying so heavily on my auto turrets right now. Oh, I don't like this guy. Oh, crap. More of them over here. Get away. See, this... Now that I don't have that blade trap anymore here... Oh my god, this item needs repair. Gotta fix that. Quickly, quickly repair it. Oh crap, I gotta stop making that. Get my gun repaired before they break through. There we go. Good night. Alright, any coming through over here? Oh man. Oh, look at all of them over here. <coughs> oh man. Uh, my voice is going here. I'm all stressed out. Good grief! Okay, get off my roof! <laughs> Good God! So many zombies! Right, yeah, that one blade trap. I don't know what happened to it, but I think it just got broken. There's too many freaking zombies. And now this... This turret needs to be re refilled. Quickly, quickly. 
Oh crap. No, no, no. Place it. You get down from there. Get down. Holy moly! This is nuts! Huh. Huh. But these turrets! And another freaking... Look, I got six skill points. I am getting so many freaking levels. Are they making it through here? No, not yet. That blade trap's still working over there. That's good. Okay, crap. This... Yeah, this is my vulnerable spot right now. I've really got to protect this. Although, now they're also going around... Yeah, if they... Yeah, I gotta make sure I keep my turrets filled. Alright, this turret. Let's go ahead and refill it. Oh, it still had quite a bit. And this turret? Doing good work. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. So it looks like uh, that blade trap is... Mo most of my blade traps are okay, except for that one in the corner there. Alright, we need to get back on shooting these guys. I can't rely on my blade traps to do all the work here. Good grief. So many freaking zombies. Oh, and we're just about out of ammo on this gun. <laughs> yeah, the shotgun turret's helping me out a lot. But really, it's my freaking auto turrets here. These guys, oh, this one needs to be refilled. down here and I am out of ammo with that so it's the pistol time god I really thought that I'd have enough ammo oh my god no 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 get away I thought I'd have enough ammo <laughs> but apparently not and it looks like this other blade trap over here has died I've still got three freaking hours before daylight My God. No, 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 no. You guys get away from here. Yeah, we can't have them breaking through there. And another level. More skill points. Okay, where are they at? Where are they at? Why is my helmet light off? That's messed up. Okay, these guys have got to go away. Are you out? No, you're good. Good God. Door. Hold tight. Just hang in there, door. Yeah, it looks like the blade traps did not hold up very long at all. But fortunately, I still have ammo in my shotgun trap there that's really helping to mitigate how many of these guys are getting through to the door. I still have almost a thousand of the handgun ammo. Good grief. You are a bad, bad zombie. Oh, crap. Did I kill them all? Is there going to be another wave of zombies? Did we do it? Guys, they never breached. You are a, a dead zombie over there. Look at all these zombies. Look at all these dead zombies. Oh, man. And look, I'm going to show you come morning um, I'm going to show you my garden I've got a lovely garden and I want to get this loot I really do want to get this loot I don't want to turn off my traps right now though because I don't trust these zombies um, so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to take my knife because I want the dead flesh from these dogs I'm gonna open up my door very carefully we're just going to harvest these dogs so I can get all this rotting flesh. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get away. What is that? It's a bird. Oh, my God. You, okay. I can't. You get into here with me now. Bad bird. Okay. Well, well, we can harvest him for rotting flesh, too. So let's get that. See, I've made a big garden, guys. I've got all kinds of premium foods. See, I've got this uh, steak and potatoes meal right now. Um lots of them on me and I've, I've made fish tacos and all kinds of good stuff meat stew and pumpkin pie and 
uh, you name it. I've, I've been making all the goodies. Um, I would like to get... See, that blade trap is still functional, so I can't really get out there to that. But notice, they did not destroy my buildings at all. They didn't even try. They didn't try to destroy the pillars or anything. Now, I, I didn't make it easy for them either. Everything is rebar reinforced concrete out there. So, like, if we go out here and look... Any more birds? See more birds. Um, I can't get to that without. Oh crap! More birds! More birds! Ha! <laughs> but <laughs> they got taken out by my traps. It's fine. Um, you know, I'd love to get those things, but I can't get those things right now. Uh, how about over here? There's going to be more birds, and I don't really—they're not so bad. If you know, I've got defenses that will help me out. See, there we go. <laughs> my turrets will deal with them. So yeah, that's the remnant of the horde. Is just these um, birds. Now I can, you know, I can go down, but I'll have to come up that way because no, two of these traps are dead. All right, let's see about this. Can I get these guys? Want all this dead flesh? Look at how many dogs there are here. <laughs> this is nuts. But man, I am super happy. This is the first time I've made a. Uh, Horde base designed specifically to route the guys, you know, route the zombies to various traps and get everything wired up and all that stuff. It was a little bit of a chore, uh, but I loved it. It was super fun, but it did take me a very long time, guys. And that's why I didn't record any of this. This was, just, like I said, a creative playthrough. It was me testing stuff to see, oh, wow, look at all the good loot we're getting out of these bags. Oh, this is the benefit of the Horde Knight, guys, is to getting these loot drops from these. Uh, not of, all of them are great, but... Um, okay, so we can make it around this way. Yeah. Did I activate the dart trap? I didn't think I could do that. All right, let's come over here. I guess anything that hits the trigger, right? But... Yeah, I'm not thrilled with the dart traps. I think... By the time the zombie hit the trap um, and the darts responded, they were already passed, unless there was another zombie packed up behind them. And then, But they don't have a very fast rate of fire, nor do these shotgun turrets, but the shotgun turrets do more damage than the dart traps. Um, I don't think I can get that thing over there, but I can jump down. I feel pretty safe now that we have annihilated this horde. It's okay, there went that dog. What's that noise? I think it's my trap. Okay, let's get this. Yeah, I'm hearing, I'm hearing my trap spinning there. It freaked me out for a moment. All right, so get all this loot. So yeah, overall, let's see. Oh crap! Yeah, see that dart trap. I ran past. It did shoot, but it didn't hit me because I moved too quickly past it. I think the uh, the dart traps, in order to be effective, let's use that. In order to be effective, they need to be, like, in the path that something's heading down straight towards the trap, right? And then it would do it. So, um, let's search this again. We, oh, you know what? I can't read that. I'm going to go ahead and scrap this baseball bat. We're going to scrap this. We're going to scrap this. Grab all that stuff. Right. So, uh, yeah, guys, look, oh, did they did break this, but they still could. That's why I made it too high. So they couldn't get past that. So let's see. Can I grab this? Yes, I can. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, another club. Let's go ahead and just scrap it. Um, I have got such high level stuff, guys. I don't need any of the low level things. And I honestly, I don't really do melee anyway. So, all right, we're going to head back up. We're going to turn off our traps. Oh, see, now I paused on that thing and my trap got me. Whoops, don't do that. Right, so um, we're going to go ahead and close that door. We're going to turn off our stuff to save power. Uh, we can just switch it off like this. And then, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's only using enough power. I will turn it off. Uh, it's only using enough power to power the switch which is one watt. Uh, but why waste one watt? You know, we, we need those watts. All right, we're going to turn this off also. 
and the switch that's on on what switch on okay uh, whatever um nothing's powered anymore and we're done we're done with this horde defense and i can take you now over to uh check out our little oh crap um our little where do i go castle area um i showed you just briefly but now it's morning time the horde's over we did a very very good defense i'm super happy about that man my base look they didn't destroy any of it they did some minor damage here and there i'll bring my nail gun around and and fix up you know any of the spots but this was a tremendous success with the exception of the freaking dart traps i don't really like the dart traps um uh, but they served a purpose uh these other traps also not very powerful not strong i wonder if there's a way that white i could reinforce them a little bit uh, because they just they got eaten up and broken um too too quickly i think uh, but overall they did their work they destroyed a bunch of zombies i'll next time i'll definitely have to have a lot more ammo um for my uh for my weapons and maybe an smg instead of a pistol but uh, let me show you just briefly oh look look i've got two turrets here and i'll show you around the outside real quickly here um a turret there pointing down here so if they oh wow somebody broke through here I and mean, we need to fix that um another turret over here which needs some ammo let's go ahead and pick okay crap let's no i can't even pick it up uh, we need to drop off some stuff uh turrets 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 all the way around and more turret there's turret here in the corner look at look at the construction here i i like how it turned out you know too many torches it just sucks all the zombies everywhere into you know coming to attack this place but that's fine it's just free exp because i hear them beating on my walls i run out inside near any of my turrets and they just take them out so that's why I've got turrets every corner and every uh, entryway and all that stuff. Um, so the my turrets just protect me. So here's the deal too. This is a mine down there. There's a bunch of stuff. I just I've got a mine in my backyard. And look at my lovely garden. I've got blueberry plants, potatoes, and mushrooms, and uh, all the stuff. I've got all the stuff growing here. Not much corn. I would like to get more corn. I've only found four seeds, and I don't know how to make the seeds uh, for corn. But it's great. I love my little garden. And and here, look. Uh, let's go inside just briefly, and we're gonna call it quits on this video. I just want to show you briefly. What I've done, okay, I've got the double doorway here thing too. <laughs> it's so silly. I didn't know that they would allow me to do that. I place them in the same block area. But um, so in here, I placed a safe, and this stuff wasn't here. You know, I, I've converted a hardware store. If you look outside just briefly here, um, we look up top. It's Lathan Hardware. I'm probably going to change that sign. Uh, but it made for a very nice little keep. I liked it because it was all made of flagstone on the bottom. So that was already a little bit more sturdy than like the wooden buildings and things. And, uh, you know, it's in the green lush area near a town. So it was kind of a convenient location for me to go around, do looting, and come back here and do stuff. So I, I've added my, you know, I added these things, uh, beverage coolers and, and various different, you know, all my appliances stuff and and then we when we go upstairs this i haven't really fixed up all this stuff here but um you'll notice like out here i i made a little balcony that goes all the way around and the one thing i can't do is uh, these bars and railings and things they won't there's no corner piece and like if i put one down i can't put the other one down because it's the same block and it won't let me do it um it's weird i wish there was a corner way and, and i don't know how to do that yet um, maybe there is and i just am unaware of it but if you guys know let me know but you know we got a little balcony i can shoot down on on things from here and you can see how uh how nice having these walls like this are i can see through them and i think they have the same hit points as a solid wall i just you know it just allows me to shoot through so i like it um and then over here you know i haven't really done anything but there's my bed and so yeah that's that's my thing so all right we're gonna jump down I've got I've got special boots that I can fall pretty high, um, and we're back here, and I'll do some fixing up and stuff. But man, our horde defense base was brilliant. Look at it over there. It's just is, and I'm gonna get my escape tunnel done because i was a little bit concerned when when the guys got past some all the traps and got to the doors um 
that was a little bit worrisome but you know i had my auto turrets and my uh my weaponry that that dealt with it uh but overall a really really good uh design i think you know and like i said they didn't destroy hardly any of it you know the traps just got damaged because they did their job you know these guys broke because they were just shredding zombies so much it wore them out you know um, but i'm thinking maybe we replace these dart traps with maybe more of the shotgun traps um, you know it's a pity that i have made so many of these darts you know 1500 darts per so that's 6000 darts <laughs> that are just basically going to waste i don't know how many are left but um, i'm just not thrilled with the dart traps unless we place them somewhere in line like right here maybe facing down that direction so as they're coming up they're just getting shot with darts like maybe that's the solution where I put them here, like move them just two squares over there facing down this direction. You know, if they get past everything else, they the dart traps. I like, uh, though, the idea that they're going to shoot everything. And we move this trigger plate down here. So every zombie coming up immediately gets shot by darts. I think I'll do that. But either way, it was a very successful horde defense. I am super happy, and I'm glad that you guys got to share it with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Look, see, this is what I'm talking about. These things. Look, watch this. Watch this, though. <laughs> That's a screamer. And I get close, and turrets deal with it. I don't have to shoot them at all because the turrets got it handled. But um, I've got more work to do. We're going to get some things fixed up, and I'll probably record another horde defense later. Oh, see, there's more of them. Where are they? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. I just get close to my turrets, and they figure out who to shoot. But thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe, share, and favorite. And we will talk with all of you again very, very soon. Go for it, turrets. I love my turrets.